This is a little update to our assembly to the motor to the Ward 9, as you have seen in the video. Um, after some run, run time, about um, 8 hours, and um, not, nobody touched uh, the, the brushes anymore, you hear it's very quiet and nice now. So the noise really comes from, uh, from uh, if you touch uh, the brushes here. They will need a while to set down, find the right position and run fine again. This one is about the RPM sensor from recharged car. I already mounted it in the back or on the uh, C end of our Warp 9. I have two screws in now. Make sure that they are not too close to the sensor. I had that before. It's not working. I don't know why. I don't know how these little screws uh, and the sensor really work together because they are not really magnetic. I don't know. To measure RPMs on the shaft or on the adapter like we have it now here, you really have to make sure this is a laser and a contact uh, RPM uh, measurement device. It really has to be black because when it's not black and has only one little shiny spot it's going crazy and giving you strange data. I tried it with a gray tape, doesn't work. It really has to be black. So I did a test that I measured with a laser here in front and with the contact on the back shaft and so I know this is working now like it is. I set the soliton now to two pickup sensor screws here. We have it on 250 RPMs maximum and 1000 idle motor speed and some 100 amps for the idle speed. So I think um, we can try. Energy. So the motor is now switched on. Um, it will stay on our 1000 RPMs idle. I hope. So we check this. Here we are at 960 so it's 30 RPMs below. We go now on our maximum, uh, the maximum um, RPMs that we set here and check this. And here we are, we are 20 below, it's running fine. So now we do another test, we will um, go to the maximum idle of 5,500. This won't work with the 12 volts, so we also bring up the 12 volts to 32 volts. Ah, here we are!
I set the idle speed now to 600. We see 570. And the motor is playing this funny melody. <laughs> I don't know what this is. We will check this. So now I put in all the four pickup screws for the RPM sensor and we'll change this here on the tachometer set just to have an idea that this is working also so we are on 2500 RPMs maximum, 1000 idle speed and where is my throttle? Here. So this should be the 1000 now. And here we see the same 900 and 70. The RPM test is done for now. It's working and I'm happy with it. Next will be the disassembly of the Warp 9 again.